11 inch MacBook Air A1370 and A1465 years 2010 through 2015. LCD screen assembly replacement. Make sure that the Mac is completely powered off. Close the lid and flip it over. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star shaped Pentalope screwdriver bit. Start in the top left and remove the short screw. The next two screws are slightly longer. Keep an eye on that. And then the remaining seven screws are all short. With the screws removed, we can go ahead and just pop the back panel right up. Before we do any work, let's go ahead and disconnect that battery. Pry underneath it with your fingernail or a plastic tool and just pop it out of the way like so. Let's remove the I.O. data cable by simply prying it away on each end. We're going to need a T5 screwdriver bit. Let's remove the T5 screw right above the heatsink. This will allow us to lift up the logic board slightly from the right side. Now let's remove the three T5 screws that are securing the fan. One in the top right, one in the top left of the fan, and then on the bottom left. We'll need to remove the screw that's securing the SSD and then tilt the SSD up and wiggle it out of its socket. That will expose the connector with the eyelash that will flip up and now we can remove the fan. With the plastic tool pry in and disconnect the right speaker. Now lift up the eyelash and now you can pull out the microphone connection. Now you can wiggle around and back out the eyesight. Remove the one T5 screw and now as you lift up and wiggle out the board you still have the power cable connection that's connected to the logic board. Untuck it from underneath the uh, battery and just pull it out of the logic board. Alright, let's remove this little plastic guard that's guarding the keyboard connection and just move that out of the way. Now flip up that little eyelash on the keyboard and then you can pry underneath it and just pull it out. It's a bit of a difficult angle. Same thing, flip the eyelash on the uh, backlight and then pull that out. Go ahead and flip up the uh, metallic lash on the LVDS cable and then wiggle that out as well. Now for the left speaker, just pry up underneath it and that should pop out. And now lastly, the two Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna cables. Go ahead and remove one T5 screw that's right above the speaker and one right next to the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. The board should now be able to come out. Once the logic board has been removed, go ahead and stand the unit up and open it slightly so that it's opened like a tent. Now go ahead and cut apart the tape that's guarding the um, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna cable. You can just make a cut in it so that the cable is free. We'll need to remove the four T8 screws right here. Go ahead and switch to a T8 screwdriver and remove all four T8 screws. With the hinges free, you can now take apart the unit and remove the screen. Reassembly. Align the new screen with the body and align the hinges. We're going to need to secure one T8 screw on one side so we can just stand it up. This might be a little tricky at first. Once you got that in, go ahead and secure the remaining three T8 screws. Make sure that the uh, Wi-Fi antenna cable is aligned, is not in the way or jammed. When reassembling, it is important that you reconnect the backlight first and then reconnect the keyboard because these cables are extremely difficult to connect later. 
drop in the board, make sure that you're not jamming any of the cables. Go ahead and make sure that the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth cables are tucked in and are not tangled. Now go ahead and reconnect the left speaker. Secure the first T5 screw right near the speaker connection. Now secure the second T5 screw near the Wi-Fi card. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Make sure to tuck it in gently and clip that lash. Go ahead and reconnect the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi cables. That's always fun. I always save it for last. Now let's go over all the connections and make sure they're nice and tight and we're done reconnecting the board. Reconnect the power end of the I.O. board. You might have to slightly lift up the logic board. Go ahead and start tucking in the I.O. power board. Reconnect the right speaker, reconnect the mic, make sure the eyelash is up, and then push it down. Reconnect the eyesight cable. Secure the T5 screw, putting the fan connection into its socket, and then clipping down the eyelash is next. Put it in, all the way in the socket, align it with the screw holes, and secure the top right screw. Now secure the bottom and then secure the top left T5 screw. We can now put back the right side logic board screw. Insert the SSD into its slot and just drop it in. Secure the SSD screw. Reconnect the I.O. data cable to the logic board on both ends. Reconnect the battery to the logic board. Make sure it's nice and firm and clicked in. We can now place back the cover, align it, and give it a nice firm push. Put back the two longer screws in the middle top first, and now secure the rest of the eight shorter screws. Thank you for watching. Help support this channel by subscribing.